Good morning LC people. Well, I'm still waiting for stuff from the powder coaters. Uh, I've not rang him yet. Sort of had a busy morning. Picked out some powder coated bits for the frame that's at the powder coat at the minute. Some other parts, new master cylinder in there. Just picking out some parts and fettling some bits. Um, I've had the brakes part that was going to go on this bike. I've had the pistons out and scraped out all the junk that's behind the seals. There's another one on there, look. Done the foot pegs as well. Shocker was last week. Plastics have all been cleaned up. That chain guard's had a, had a nice lick of paint. Um, and basically, this bike's been pulled out. This one is going to donate some of its parts to make the one we're rebuilding really nice. There's some good bits and pieces on it. Uh, but we'll get to that later on in the week. So, as you know, I went through the loom. Got a nice new rear mud guard to fit on the bike. New clock cover in there. Uh, new radiator grill. Genuine set of Yamaha handlebars to go on it. So yeah, I've been fettling a bit this morning. Like I say, I've got to go to the powder coat and give him a ring and see what he's got for me. Whether it be tanks, wheels, frame, swing arm, that kind of stuff. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm about. Uh, but me and Steve, we've got... Uh, We've got these two old mopeds we've had them a little while um we've decided really we'll sell them and we can put some money into doing some more lcs and it was quite interesting the history of, the, of these mopeds uh, obviously living love Arthur princes used to be in town on derby road it's now swan car if anybody knows it's from my town but this was a registration number for this for this moped <laughs> 1949 very interesting, an old V5 is. Not seen one this old before. When it goes, and it's uh, basically, it lists the people that's owned the bike. So I basically, 1956 there. 56, and it changed to the owner in, in my town in 1957. They've had it ever since. And I've never come across these bikes before. And the Philips Gadabal is obviously a British bike. German built engine in it. Anyway, I won't go on about this because it's LC related. So I'm going to go down to the shop that supplied it and ask them if uh, they'd be interested. Is an historical piece to put in their window. Could be interesting. But anyway, enough about the gadabouts. That's where we're at at the minute. Bit of a slow, non-sort of productive day. Messing about with the brakes took a little bit of a while to get the pistons and clean them out and clean the seals and the recesses. But that's where I'm out at the minute. That's where I'm at. So I'll keep you posted. As I say, I need to uh, find the powder coat and go and see him. But that's where we're at, folks. I've got my clutch kit. As I told you yesterday, that's come for this. At some point, I'll get round to my bike. <laughs> I don't know when that's going to be. But I've just got a taxi. It's, it's running and riding. So I'm not in a rush to do anything with it. But I will get round to doing it. Now, I had a funny turn of events, really, because I'd bought some pattern cables. I don't know where one is to show you at the minute. Um, anyway, I went to my mate's house yesterday and got a few parts off of him. Um, what he was saying is that the oil pump side of the cable, the inner cable were too short. And you, even though you just adjust her in, it didn't give you enough play to set the pump up. And the same situation on the twist grip. So he gave me a bit of an heads up. So I've got two or three of these cables. So I'm going to have to look at them. They will get used. I know you can get genuine ones. But I've bought these, so I will make them work. We'll get to that. Anyway, thanks for watching, folks, and I'll keep you updated. Dilly dilly.